In this video, we've been fast targeting three integrals, and if you like integrals, you will like this video. Check this out. This is the first one. Let's look at the integral of e to the x over 1 plus e to the x. And this right here is actually not bad at all because we can just do u sub, let u equal the bottom, which is 1 plus e to the x, and we see du is just going to be the derivative of that, which is e to the x, and then multiply by dx. And this is exactly what we have on the top. So, this is just the integral of 1 over this, which is the u, and then we have the du on the side. So to integrate this, we just get ln, and we have the u, which is 1 plus e to the x. But this is always positive, plus 1 is still always positive. So we can just put down parentheses, and then the plus c, and we are done. Now, take a look right here. The question is, what if we do not have e to the x anymore on the top? So let's look at the integral of 1 over 1 plus e to the x. First, I want to tell you guys that u sub will still work, but unfortunately, we will have to end up doing something called the partial fractions. So I will not tell you guys, I will not prefer to, I will not recommend you guys to do that. Yeah, this is better, check this out. Well, we look at 1 on the top, that's just not enough. Earlier, it has the e to the x, that was per perfect, right? Let's see, I want to just make it even easier, so I'm going to put this down right here. Well, we have 1 over 1 plus e to the x. And I will start by asking myself, wouldn't it be nice? Right, that's the phrase, wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice if the top right here is 1 plus e to the x instead of the 1? Yes, it would be so nice because this over that is just equal to 1, and integrating 1 will just get x. Perfect, right? But of course, this is no longer the same as the original, but don't worry. Because we added the e to the x, let's just go ahead and minus e to the x, and of course we can still put that over the same denominator. And as you can see, when we combine these two fractions, we still end up with the original. That's great, because this is just going to be integral of 1, and then minus this integral, which we did it right here already. So now, after I finish writing this down, I can put on the answer for you guys. First part is x, the next part is minus ln parentheses 1 plus e to the x, and then we are all done. Put a plus c. That's it. Now, take a look at number 3. So you see, this part right here is what I call the uh, wouldn't it be nice strategy. We are going to practice that a little bit more for number 3. Let's look at the integral of 1 over 1 plus e to the x. But I'm going to make this square. Yeah. So let's see if we can still do the same thing for this one. Okay, so let me just write this down again. We have 1 over 1 plus e to the x, and then we have to square the denominator. Wouldn't it be nice if the top is 1 plus e to the x instead? Yes, it's so nice because this and that can cancel, right? Well, we'll just have to do that. We added the e to the x, so we will just have to minus e to the x, and then divide it by the same denominator, namely 1 plus e to the x over, I mean 1 plus e to the x and then square, and then we have the dx. Now, this and that cancel, we have that to the first power, so we are lo looking at the integral, and this is just 1 over 1 plus e to the x. And let me close this integral right here, because we know the result already already. But for the second one, here we have a minus integral, and we have e to the x over 1 plus e to the x, and then square. Well, for this, we will have to do some work, and let me just put that down right here for you guys real quick. We are going to do a little u sub. We are going to let u, so again, it's the whole thing right here. We are going to let u equal the inside, which is 1 plus e to the x, and we see du is just equal to e to the x dx which is what we have on the top, right here. So now, this integral with the negative in front is just going to be 1 over u, but square, and then we have the du on the side, like this. And of course, to integrate that, we can just look at this as perhaps already done right here. This is just a negative integral u to the negative 2, du. Okay. Let's go ahead and add 1 to the power, we get negative 1, but divided by the new power, so I'll put it down right here. So this is actually just a positive integral, right? 
positive result. Okay, so the answer for that is positive. So I'm going to put that down right here. And u to the negative 1, which is just 1 over u. And the u is that, which is 1 plus e to the x. All right, this part gives us that. And now for the first part, we just have to copy that down. So I'm just going to put that down, x minus ln parentheses 1 plus e to the x. And then add this guy, and then add a plus c. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this right here is the answer. So hopefully you guys all like this video. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any more questions, you guys can check out my other videos for more calculus help. Subscribe for my future videos. I'll upload more calculus tutorials for you guys. And as always, that's it.